So you're in a relationship and you feel like you could be doing just a tad more to make your significant other feel wanted and special because you know, you don't want them to go looking for that somewhere else. So here I am ready to share with you some tips and tricks on how to be romantic in your relationship. Hey writers, welcome back to my channel. It is the month of February, the month of love. So I figured I would make some videos pertaining to the subject. So today I am going to share with you ways that you can be romantic in a relationship. Whether you're just starting out and it's a fresh and new relationship, or you've been in this relationship for years now and you just kind of dropped the ball on this one for maybe a few months or maybe even years. This is going to help you keep the romance alive and keep it going. And these tips are good for both my ladies and my guys. So if this is something you're interested in, keep watching. Really quick, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications because otherwise you may never see me again. Sad, I know. And make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to keep in mind is your aura. Now, what do I mean about your aura? I mean like type of energy that you have when you're around that person. If you're planning this romantic dinner or romantic getaway, make sure that you keep these things in mind while you're doing whatever you're doing. And you can be romantic anywhere, it doesn't matter. It can be at your house, it can be in the shower, it can be wherever, but just keep in mind these things that I'm gonna go over whenever you want to be romantic. So you want to be a little bit flirty and not necessarily only flirty because flirty is a little bit more fun. It's kind of a game back and forth. And if you don't know how to flirt or what it even is, make sure you comment down below and I'll make a separate video about this because, because there is a science to flirting. So if you don't know how to flirt, let me know. That being said, make sure that it's more seductive and sexy. That's the kind of aura and energy that you want to have when you want to be romantic. The second thing is being soft spoken. Now, what do I mean by this? I know my guys are like, what? Soft spoken. I don't want to be, I don't want to speak softly. I'm going to get to you in just a second. For my ladies, I definitely mean soft spoken to you. Imagine your man is coming home from work or you guys are meeting somewhere and you're being loud and you're being your usual self and you're just like, you know, it's like, no, you need to speak a little bit more softly. Just bring your tone down, make it a little bit more seductive, be more sexy and just kind of have a little flirtiness to you, but it's more sexy and seductive. That is what you're going for. And you want to do that with your voice because this is going to make him feel like, whoa, who is this girl? Who am I talking to right now? So <laughs> that's what I mean by soft-spoken for you ladies. Now for my fellas, what I mean by this with you is you don't want to use your normal voice with your girlfriend or boyfriend or wife or husband. You want to have a little bit more depth. So since you're the man, you're gonna be layering it with a little bit of sexiness and a little bit of seduction, but you still want it to be deep and, you know, deep but sexy and have like just more texture to your voice, if that makes sense. Don't speak in your regular tone or your regular cadences. Change it up. It has to be different enough to where she's going to be able to tell, oh, something's up here, something's different. He's definitely not being like his normal self, but this, I like this. I like how he's talking to me. I like how he's speaking. That is what I mean. Let me know if that makes sense in the comments. If it doesn't, I will go into it in another video, but I'm pretty sure you get the point. The next thing that you have to pay attention to are your gestures. Now, what do I mean by gestures? I mean like the way you walk, the way you are going to sit down, the way that you do things when you go to grab something, any little thing that has to do with you gesturing. And it's gonna be a little bit different for my ladies and for the guys. So let me explain. For my girls, make every move sexy. So when you walk, you make that walk sexy. You want to have purpose. You want it to be seductive. This is like the main thing about being romantic is being seductive, sexy, having that kind of aura around everything. So not only your energy and the way you talk, the way you speak, but also the way you move, the way you do certain things. That is what is going to make it romantic. So everything is calculated. For my girls, you want to be 
pretty, you want to be sexy, you want to be flirty, you want to be cute, you know, everything has that kind of edginess to it. Be a little bit edgier with everything that you do. The way you sit down, the way you put your leg over your other leg, the way you flip your hair. Just every little move has to have purpose and intent and be driven by that energy. So what I mean by gestures for my guys is the things that you do reacting to her moves. So for example, if she's going to get into the car, you open up that door for her. Little things that you probably don't normally do and if you are a gentleman and and child that I can't even say it, chivalry. And chivalry still exists then hey kudos to you but for you guys who don't normally open every single door for your lady open up the car door open up the door into the restaurant for example if she's going to take a seat pull out the chair for her and push it back in when you're having dinner make sure that you pour that glass of wine for her or serve the appetizer salad on her plate little things like that that will make her feel like she's being pampered and treated and like a princess those are the things that make it romantic that's what makes a difference in everyday life and the reason why i didn't give this tip to the girls is because normally girls or women do this they take care of their guy they take care of their man their boyfriend whatever they do these things for them already and if you don't it's okay this means that you should do it and if it's gonna make a difference for your guy and he's like oh wow this is different she's making me dinner or she's i don't know taking off my shoes and putting my feet elevated little massage anything like that that's gonna make a difference where they'll say like wow this is kind of romantic that's what you want to go for. This next one is really important because this is what's going to make your significant other feel wanted and special. And that is be attentive. Pay attention to everything they say. Really connect with them. Show them attention. Like just put away your phone. Just make them feel like nothing else matters in the world at that moment. But speaking to them and listening to them and just really connecting and vibing with them. That is going to make a big difference. This next tip is going to depend on how comfortable you are around this person and how long you've been with them or how far you've gone with them. So keep that in mind. And that is get physical. Now, what do I mean by this? For example, when you kiss, you're going to make it slower and more sensual. Now, this could be on the forehead. It can be on the cheek. It can be on the lips. It can be on the neck, but you are going to change the energy behind the kiss. It's not a normal kiss. This kiss has intention and it's sweet. It's, it's very sweet and caring and loving. And your significant other is going to feel that. They're gonna feel like a different warmth to the kiss or just like it's softer, it's sweeter, it's romantic. That's the point of it. So if you go to hug them, make it like you're holding them, not just hugging them, but you're holding them and give that energy of care and love. And like, for example, the guys, you can go behind your girl, hug her around the waist. You probably don't normally do that. And you can maybe put your face on her neck and kiss her or whisper something in her ear. And everything is just, like I said, calculated. So. When you're getting physical like that, you're close to each other, you're holding hands, maybe you give it a little soft squeeze. Little things that are going to make an impact romantically, that is what you are going for. So you can go and like put your hand on her arm and just kind of caress it or caress her cheek or do all those physical things in a slower, more sensual manner than you normally would. That's what's going to bring the romance. So if you're younger, these things might not apply to you. So do not do those things. But if you are a grown up and you have been there and done it all, apply these to the bedroom as well. Make sure you pay attention in that area if this is somewhere that you want to take it to. 
So a little extra bonus tip is to use your language. What do I mean by that? Just use your language, be more romantic, use some romantic words, talk to her and tell her how beautiful she is. You know, all that cliche kind of stuff where you're gonna make them blush or just kind of feel a little something inside. So you can use all of these tips whenever you wanna be romantic and just know that you can use them anywhere. You can be in any setting, but of course, if the setting is a romantic setting or you're going to do a romantic thing it's even better and if you don't know where to go or where to take your girlfriend or boyfriend and a special occasion is coming up like valentine's day or their birthday or your anniversary or anything like that i am definitely going to be making a video on romantic things to do with your partner so make sure that you go check that out once it's up and that'll give you an idea of where to go what to do and you can apply all of these tips that i've given you please comment down below and let me know any tips that you have for me or for everyone watching this video because we can all help each other out with this and also give me a thumbs up if you liked it remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and turn on those post notifications and i will see you guys on my next video besitos i just want to know how does he make you happy are you satisfied anymore